throughout the week, young people from all over the UK have taken part in a project called Shine, which is aimed at showcasing their talent and boosting their public profile. Yes, this afternoon, the week-long series of programmes culminated with up to 200 youngsters taking part in a debate in the House of Lords. We're all um, young people, we're all talented, we've all got something to show. And we're in the House of Lords and it's not something that, you know, everybody gets the opportunity to. That there's so much more, there's so much going on and it's just not getting that media coverage and it only takes one story, it only takes one person, one asylum seeker, one young person to fit that stereotype of being you know, the typical thug, and then it overrides every good story that's in the local paper. I reckon what the newspapers and the media should do is concentrate on the fantastic stuff our young people are doing and actually sticking it on the front page because my parents, they get so excited when they see me on the front page and doing something fantastic for the youth. Because I can just remember three years ago, I was sat at home watching TV and thinking, God, I wish I could do something like that, and look where I am now. Very interesting indeed. Well, with us now is the Children's Commissioner for England, Sir Al Ainsley-Green, and Linda, who's 14 years old and has been taking part in this week's Shine events. Welcome to BBC News. Thanks very much for joining us. Um, first of all, uh, Sir Ainsley-Green, um, tell us all about this uh, uh, event. Why was it so important? Well, this week has been fantastic. 6,000 schools and other organisations, over a million young people across the country, celebrating the fact we have truly fantastic young people in our society. Why do we need it? We need it because of the overwhelming demonization of children. 60% of media articles are negative towards kids. We have 5,000 ultrasonic weapons installed to stop kids gathering on street corners. Over half of adults think that children behave like animals and should be protected against children. That's the culture we've got to confront. And this week of events is meant to showcase the fact that over the country we have truly fantastic children and young people. And this afternoon in the House of Lords there was clear evidence of passion, of commitment, ability to articulate arguments and to showcase what they think about their lives. It is a deteriorating public image, isn't it, that a lot of young people have hoodies, uh, asbos, knife crime, that kind of thing. It's a very, very difficult fight you've got on your hands. Well, that is certainly true. And we heard this afternoon from the young people like Linda uh, of their anger over how they're being portrayed, relentlessly giving a negative perception all the time. And that's not the reality. The vast majority of children today are loved, they're working hard, they're law-abiding, they want to be successful, and it's time we celebrated them. Linda, as we've heard, you're just 14. Tell us how you got involved in this. Well, I got involved through the National Council of Voluntary Youth Services, and I got involved through a weekly update that they send out, and I thought that it was something really interesting, a great opportunity. So I went ahead and emailed the lady that was in charge, and I found myself at the House of Lords today. And do you think that you've managed uh, throughout the course of, of the week, you and uh, all the other people who've been taking part in this, to overcome these negative perceptions that Sir Al was talking about? I don't think we've fully reached our potential, but I think there's loads of other things that we can get involved in, and we just need, as people have been saying, more media coverage and more people knowing about us and knowing about Shine and what it's all about. So just tell us, what, what was it like being in there? I mean, were you nervous? <laughs> I mean, I'd have been nervous standing up there. Yeah, no, I was Those red, famous <laughs> red benches, all those people. Yeah, I was nervous, but when I got into it, it was really interesting and really good to hear what other young people had to say in arguments against me. And how, uh, Sorrell, are you going to, to, to bring what you've achieved this week forward and, and what sort of difference practically is it going to make to, to all the young people who've been involved, do you think? Well, promoting children's best interests is everybody's business. I mean, government has funded this week. It will be repeated next year. We have 11 million takeover day from my organisation in November. All the time we're trying to show how we really do have fantastic kids. And this afternoon, there were no shrinking violets. They were up like jackrabbits uh, wanting to talk about with great passion yeah. the problems in their lives and they could speak with great authority put into shame I have to say some of our politicians and how they argue the cause. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> Linda, no, sh no shrinking violets at all <laughs> <Absolutely> clearly. <not>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much indeed for joining us and Sal and Jess. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Now, they